How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have something a little different for you today. Today we're gonna to tell you or teach you how to recharge your AC system on your Audi Volkswagen. With that being said, let's dive into this video, show you how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure there's nothing in the system along with putting it under a vacuum. We're gonna put it in a vacuum for 15 to 30 minutes. That's personally your preference. I say 30 minutes because I'm in a humid state. The more humid it is outside, you need to make sure there's no humidity in the system or you'll have lack of performance. So what I'm gonna do is turn on the compressor, which you could get at Harbor Freight. Next thing up, open up the low side, open up the high side. Now the system is gonna go into a deep vacuum. You see it's at 30 right now because we already put it in a vacuum and we already sped this process up a little bit. So we're gonna fast forward because we've already done this. Next thing up, we're going ahead and shut the valves. All right, like I said, the system's been under vacuum for 30 minutes, right? That means no humidity, this thing's ready to rock and roll. But you need to leave it for another 15 minutes because you need to make sure that you don't have a leak. Because if you have a leak, that gauge is gonna go rise up because pressure is coming in. If you got a leak, guys, you're pretty much gonna be wasting your time and your money. All right, guys, we've waited 15 minutes and we have no leak. Great job, we did everything right. With that being said, it's time to put some refrigerant in the AC unit. So we need to set up this canister right here because this is our refrigerant. We need to get it in there and you see we have this line hooked up. That was to put the system in a vacuum. Now we're gonna use that vacuum to pull this refrigerant in there. You're gonna need this special adapter and the gauges should come with the lines you need. Again, both valves are shut. Double check because you'll have air coming in. You don't want that. Next thing up, we're gonna go ahead and connect to this canister. Don't go too crazy, but I wanna make sure I have a tight fit. There's that. Next up, you're gonna set the canister on the scale. All right, before we weigh this, we need to open the can up. So we need to puncture a hole in it. There you go. Now I heard there's air in there. Back it off. So to reiterate what's going on, we have the gauges under a vacuum. Both valves are closed. We have punctured a hole. So this is now in there and we need to get the air out of the system. Point this away from your face. It can kill you and you're not supposed to shoot out to there. So what you're gonna do right over here. Well, that was, refrigerant didn't come out, right guys? Well, first of all, make sure this hole is punctured. There we go. Two, shake this can up. We need to get those moving around. Cool. All right, back to bleeding the system. Let's do that one more time. There we go. You saw it come out to the air. Get away from it for a moment. I'm gonna kick the fans on. All right, we put the scale in grams. We're gonna put that on the scale. That thing reads 531 grams, right? On your car, you're gonna have this sticker. We have 500 grams plus or minus 15 grams. That's how much AC is gonna, or refrigerant is gonna go into the unit. So we're gonna slowly start letting in some refrigerant. We're starting at 534 grams. We're slowly gonna open up the low side, which is the blue side, and we're gonna let it in slowly. There we go, it's refilling it slowly. Watching how much it's taking here. Remember we started at 534 grams. The reason I inject refrigerant into the unit is because we're under a vacuum right now. If you were to start that compressor, the oil could be, I'm not saying it's sucked up, but it's moving up. So you could harm the unit until it repressurizes and goes to a absolute pressure, a positive pressure instead of a negative vacuum. All right, so we're gonna stop it right there. We don't want too much pressure when it's gonna start the unit. So now at this moment, we're gonna start the car up, kick the AC on to full max, and we're gonna install a temperature gauge because we wanna see how cold it's gonna get. All right, guys, so we just started the car up. You have the AC on max, and you got the thermostat in there. You wanna see from where we're starting to where we're gonna end. Now what we're gonna do, slowly start shaking this thing up while you inject AC. All right, it's taking the charge. We're slowly letting in the cold side, or low side. All right, you can see high side's coming up, building up pressure. Again, we're going slow with the cold side here. Note, sometimes you will trigger a fault for the pressure sensor because it senses it's too low if it's pressure is too low, the AC unit will not kick on. So you might have to log in with VCDS and delete the code, but we're gonna check it out because I think our car is gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go in with VCDS, scan it, 
see if we got a fault code. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rev the car to 2,000 RPMs so I can just bring in the charge a little better. Raising the RPMs will raise the speed of the AC compressor. Let's see how much AC. Again, still shaking this. All right, let's go rev it up. Don't be worried that it's taking a little bit for this to happen. Let's keep going in the car, rev it up to 2,000 RPMs, let it take in the charge, come back out, look at the gauges, see that it's taking the charge still. And don't forget about your weight. We need 500 grams of AC in there, refrigerant. So I'm gonna go back in the car, rev it up, and uh, hopefully we can finish up here shortly. So if the can feels kind of empty, and I'm gonna put it back on the scale and see how much we've used. We're at 134 grams. So take it from 534. So we've, we've used a total of 380 grams. We need 500 at least. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and close this valve. We're gonna go ahead and close the cold side. The hot side's already closed. We're gonna close both. Engine's still running. Let's disconnect this. Again, guys, a little bit's gonna come out. Got a new can. Shake that bad video up. Again, guys, evacuate the system a little bit. Press this tab. Remember, scale's on zero. We're at 540. We're gonna start injecting some in on the low side now. Starting at 540. All right, guys, after doing the math, we need 420 on this scale, and then we'll have 500 grams in the system. We're at 481. Closing it, shaking it up. All right, guys, we finished charging up the system. As you can tell, how do we know that? Well, we now have 500 grams of AC refrigerant in the system. Also, there's a couple other ways you can know. There's a website that will tell you what pressures you should be at based off of conditions outside. Right now, we're at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. My gauges, we're at 31 on the cold side. We're at like 140 on the high side. So with that being said, I will add the link in the description. You can tell we are at perfect conditions. We don't need any more refrigerant. If we overpressurize the system, it's not gonna operate correctly as too much pressure to create heat. So, now let's show you the inside of the car, how cold we got this car down to. This is with the car not running, or this is with the car running, but we're not driving. So there's gonna be a little different as air over the condenser will cool it down. But you can see, it's pretty cold in here. We now have some fresh AC. I'm gonna kind of reiterate a couple things because I had the fans on. I wanna make sure you guys have good quality with what we just did. So let's go over the key factors. Step one, putting the car in a vacuum down to 30. Now once it's at 30 degrees of vacuum, you want it there for 30 minutes. Getting all the humidity out of the air, shut the valves. Now the valves are shut, turn off the compressor and let, let it uh, sit for a while. See if we have any leaks. If your pressure moves, you got a leak. Fast forward. Now we're ready to recharge the system. I personally would then again, put the system in a vacuum. Obviously it's in a vacuum, but do it again for another 15 minutes and then let it settle for another five minutes. This is just making sure all humidity is out. The more you put the system in a vacuum and get the humidity out, you're gonna have better AC. Now moving forward to putting refrigerant in the system. You guys recall on your stock front grill, you're gonna have a reading or it'll be under your hood how much AC you should put in the system. Now using the scale, personally, I would put the can on the scale before doing what we did. I didn't do it that way, but doing it again, I would probably go that route. Then inject it in slowly, because too fast, too much pressure, you could harm the compressor. Now after taking in the refrigeration, slowly closing it, shaking it up, going in the car, revving it up to 2000 RPMs, this really ensures a nice, proper, slow charge. The slower the better, guys. That being said, that's all there is to it, recharging your AC system. It could be scary, but guys, it's not that bad. You have me to help you out. But other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. And as always, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what I did wrong. And like always, stay BDT tuned.